Crucial details have emerged surrounding the mysterious abduction of 25-year-old Victor Kibet Kipngeno, alleging the young man was working with foreigners from China to conduct some suspicious and unscrupulous money transactions targeting people's bank accounts. It is said Victor was responsible for hacking and manipulating people's ATM cards with close allies from China. After gaining access into people's bank accounts, he would allegedly transfer huge sums of money from their accounts to a PayPal account with the help of his close associates from China. Accounts targeted were of foreigners and well-established individuals, allegation that his father has disputed. <laughs> It is believed some intelligent officials got wind of these suspicious transactions and hence the cause of alarm. However, it is not yet clear if officials from the investigative agencies have the man in their custody or not. When asked for a comment on these allegations on whether Victor was being investigated for these fraud allegations, Juja Police Commander Michael Maura refuted the claims and requested we wait for the investigation process to be complete. Uh, to be frank, that matter is still under investigation. Uh, let's wait for the investigation to reveal the, the whole circumstances of the matter. The 25-year-old was trailed and abducted while playing at a pool within Juja Market in Kiambu. The incident happened on Monday evening. A week later, the whereabouts of the young Jekwat graduate remains to be a mystery. Officers say they are pursuing crucial leads into his abduction as they find answers on the hard questions being asked by his family. When a Jaikwat graduate disappears without a trace, it leaves his family grasping for answers. Investigators at Juja Police Station say they are still piecing together details into his suspected abduction a week later. So, where is Kibet? An analysis of CCTV footage reveals Victor was abducted by armed men who were driving a double cabin motor vehicle, registration number KDC936P, a number that cannot be traced in the NTSA portal. Investigators at Georgia Police Station are still trailing communication from his mobile phone gadget, which was switched off along the Thika Highway. This has left the family in an ugly situation. What I can improve the family is just to be patient with us, uh, with the investigators so that uh, uh, the whole matter can be carried out and uh, they will be informed about the results. It has also been reported Victor was well established financially and owned a fleet of high-end motor vehicles, among them an Audi, a Mercedes-Benz and others. A yard at Mombasa is investigating circumstances under which he acquired the Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> So they say he was constructing a modern house at his rural home in Bomet and an apartment in Narok.
na kapata ki pesa kidogo akafungua biashara hapa ya Pure Franklin Wala K24 TV